Hello everyone, it's the Silverstone Grand Prix uh, track this weekend. Um, I'm just loading up now, it's Friday, so I thought I'd uh, take you on a little bit of a journey and see what club racing's like. So uh, motorhomes all loaded up, um, cars on the trailer, I've checked I've got my kit and my race license, all that sort of thing. Um, so pretty much ready to set off and just waiting for the kids to finish school and then um, stop some fuel on the way and uh, down to Silverstone. So I'll see you there. So we got here, um, and the first thing we do really is get out on the track, uh, exercise the kids. Um, it's pretty cool being able to ride these circuits at night, especially it's like the Grand Prix track. Um, so we'll take a ride around, see what it's like. Okay, morning. Um, first thing we need to do this morning is drive over to Scrutineer and get the car safety checked. A um, bit nerve wracking usually just to make sure because they decide whether you can actually go on the track or not. So uh, we'll go over there now and uh, get it all checked through.
got uh, done qualifying, um, went pretty well, uh, overdriving it a bit, shredding the tyres, but um, really enjoyed it. Um, looking at it, I just need to calm down in the second sector a bit, because when I do, I'm actually half a second quicker. Um, so that's my technical analysis. Um, so I'm just going to fuel it again, check fluids, um, kick the tyres, um, and uh, go out and have a, have a decent race, hopefully. Okay, it's uh, an hour until the race, um, so I'm just walking back. I've been watching some uh, amazing cobras and things like that go past. Um, so I'm going to go get back, get into the race gear, so final check over on the car, um, and then uh, get ready for the race in an hour's time. Okay, uh, I'm back at the motorhome now, um, just um, going to start getting ready for the race. Um, give yourself plenty of time because it's amazing how quickly it comes around and you get called 30 minutes before um, to go to the assembly area so they can line you up in the correct order before releasing you onto the track so it's their way of just trying to make sure all the races turn over smoother and they fit them all in in the day. Um, and it sort of occurred to me that um, some people might not know what you have to wear. Uh, the first race I ever went to, I bought some Sparco trainers thinking that they were okay. Um, went to Scrutineering and uh, they instantly got um, confiscated. So I learned a lesson pretty quick there. So I'm just going to run through what I wear. Um, first, I always wear uh, Nomex underwear. So these are just OMP ones. Nomex is a type of material that essentially is um, fireproof uh, and doesn't melt, more importantly, really. Um, so it's if you're in an unfortunate situation, it's um, you're going to be all right. Um, so they've all got an FIA label on there. I don't know if you can see um, on there. So they're sort of a FIA standard to show that they are correct. Um, some people don't wear it, um, I think it's sort of madness not to, although on a day like today it's that hot, you, re you don't like it, but it's going to save you one day probably. Um, so I wear that first, um, you've got gloves, um, so again they've sort of got the FIA sort of standards on them, um, make sure there's no rips or tears because again they check them at every race, they will take them off you if they're ripped. Um, Boots, um, I got some new sort of Alpine Star ones this year. Um, I had Alpine Star ones before, they were great, um, lasted a long time. I got sort of nine years out of them and then just wore the sole out, so they're pretty good. Um, I think they're just nice and comfy, uh, but you can always go and try them. Place like Demon Tweaks just turn up. Um, so that's the boots. Um, hands devices, people might have heard of them, people might not have. It's a strange uh, device really when you look at them and when you first wear them you really don't think they're very comfy, especially this type, they're the cheapest. Um, what it essentially does is fits on your shoulders and the straps that, that your harnesses actually go over the top so that clamps you down and then these tabs actually fix to points on your helmet and it's basically if you went and slammed into a wall um, with the weight of a helmet, your head will get thrown forwards. What these straps do is basically anchor your head, so you can only go so far. Um, I used to hate wearing this when I first started. If I don't wear it, um, I've got it. it just doesn't feel right now. And again, it's going to stop you from breaking your neck if, if you have a really bad accident. So, definitely worth it. Um, overalls, these are 10 years old. If you look after them, don't work on your car in them, get changed um, basically. But again, these are a sort of FIA approved um, race suit. Um, it's done me really well. This is just a Sparco one, quite cheap, 
the cheaper ones like this, they're quite heavy material usually, so you tend to be a bit hotter. Fancy ones tend to be sort of lighter, maybe get rid of heat a bit easier, that sort of thing. Um, but I mean, that's done me good for years now. And then your helmets. There's quite a few different types of helmets out there. I had an open face one for nine years until I had a windscreen explode in my face. Um, so I actually went for a full face one this year. Um, Bell are a big make of helmets. There are others. These Bell helmets seem to fit my head really well. Uh, it's got a really cool design, this one as well. Um, just make sure there are different types of helmets out there. You can get karting helmets, which won't pass our regs for track racing. Karting stuff um, is a slightly different standard. So sometimes you'll see a helmet that looks really cheap, it's probably a karting one. So again, pick up the phone, speak to Demon Tweaks or whoever else, and they'll guide you in the right direction. Um, but this is a full sort of FIA approved. You can see on there, that's where your um, hands, harness straps click onto. Um, so uh, yeah, that's really cool though. Um, so yeah, I'll get changed um, and um, hopefully have a decent race. Let's go. Seven. David Tomkins says he's been really impressive this year at the TBR Bixton. Oh, it's Two. Race done. Um, it was a, a brilliant race actually. Um, got a good start. Um, you'll see in the video actually, um, and uh, got a bit of bit of space to the Alpha, which was really going to be my main competition because in qualifying uh, we were sort of four hundredths different. Um, but I managed to just get a bit of a gap. Um, it can be lucky like that, unlucky. Depends on the race start really. Um, and so I just managed to keep it pegged at a certain distance, um, which is really good. I was just trying to stay smooth, not make any mistakes. And it also helps, um, you'll see in the video, uh, an MGB GT V8. Um, he was in front of me and it, it kept me going. So I just wanted to keep pushing and pushing. So um, looking back at the timings that I did, I was sort of doing 243s, sort of nicely pegging that. So. Um, I always like it when it's consistent, um, not just a out of, out of the air one fast lap. It's quite nice when you put in sort of nice, steady, uh, constant lap time. So happy with it really overall. Um, I got the class win by default in a way because there was only me in it this time, which is a shame. Um, but looking at the timings, I would have been right up there um, anyway, which is uh, really cool. So. Um, going to wind down, have a beer, load up the car um, and get back home. garage and um, good trip back home so that was always good and um, cars in one piece nearly and um, being an idiot um, I drove onto the trailer and it was a bit too sort of flat and, uh, yeah uh, well, you know, pull that back on uh, but cars great nothing wrong with it and um, seems to be running mint at the moment so for sort of Cadwell Park, which is the next race, we'll just check it all over and then clean all the bugs off and be ready to go again. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed a sort of a little bit of an insight, um, maybe gives people thinking of doing it a little bit more of what goes on behind the scenes. It's a really good laugh, there's loads of people that'll help, help you out as well. Um, so, um, I'll uh, put the 
the actual race video up as well, so check that out. Click subscribe. Okay, cheers.